Hello and welcome to another Rightly Witterings. It's been an interesting last week or so since reviewing a very pleasant Conway Stewart Duro. Of all of the things that were most interesting, probably the most interesting I found was having a scrabble around in one of my desk drawers and finding these three. And since you lot keep telling me that you like hearing stories about my older pens, these are probably the best ones. Well, last week I mentioned this brilliant book, which is coming out next Thursday. So the... I don't know, whatever date that's going to be. I have no diary. What's the point of keeping a diary? I'm not going anywhere. Anyway, this excellent book, I'm going to put a review up a week today on Thursday. And I can thoroughly recommend it. Angus Donald's a fantastic writer really good bloke and that's worth reading. Second book just arrived this week from a lovely bloke Michael Ridpath. If you haven't read any of Michael Ridpath's books go and buy one. He's written a huge number. His thrillers are basically amongst the best thrillers that are being written today and he writes to Mike with thanks for the loan of your name on page 24. You and I both know the butler did it. Michael Ridpath. Um, a crime book, I believe. I haven't got very far into it yet, but Michael Ridpath writes superbly well. So I can thoroughly recommend that. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about these. Now, back in the 1970s, when I was a mere whippersnapper, these were the pens that one had to have. I've got a trio here of stainless steel Parkers. Look at them, aren't they beautiful? And they have this nice thing still, made in England. Made in England. Made in England, which is nice. Back in the days when we used to make a lot of things in this country. So what are they? This is a propelling pencil, still works perfectly well. I use this for most of my work at O and A level, very handy. It's got a what you Americans would call an eraser inside. We Brits call it a rubber, and you've got space to keep spare leads. Very handy, very convenient, effective little pencil. The only trouble this always used to have was that this end tip always used to come loose and unscrew, and then the whole thing sort of fell apart. But didn't matter, it served me very well through my school years and it still works now. What more can you ask from a writing implement, I ask you? This I used all the time because it was a ballpoint. Very convenient, just press it like that and it would shoot out its little ballpoint end from the cartridge inside. I haven't got any cartridges, so I can't demonstrate it. But that, again, was pretty much a standard throughout my school career until I got this, which is the old Parker fountain pen. And this is the thing I'm really talking about today. So, what is it? It is a fountain pen. It's got rather delightful proportions. Very slim, fat, very slim. The crunching noise is the dog has decided to start chewing her nails. Excuse me one minute. Oi! Give him a rest. It's bad enough having teenagers chewing their nails without the dog doing it as well. So, very nice dimensions. Not overly heavy, but it is solid stainless steel, so you've got a fair bit of bulk. Obviously, wood post quite happily, although it's got a very loose fit. I don't remember that being that loose when I had it at school. Just a push fit, and I believe there are... Oi! Hound! I believe there are fingers inside the cap which more or less grip the pen about there. But they must be pretty solid because it doesn't, still doesn't want to uh, shake loose in any way. 
had, I think, a nice writing grip. Feels good. It's it's a nice pen to write with, but not in the same league as the Conway Stewart, which I use all the time, or one of my Visconti Homo Sapiens, or even the other pen I used a lot at school, which was the old Schaefer, which I still rather love now. It's um, still working perfectly well, this Schaefer. I've been using it a lot recently. The nib on this is a standard medium, and it's got this sort of half-covered nib which at the time was all the rage. Everyone liked it. Uh, but for me, there's nothing that quite equals the joy of a full-size nib, uncovered and fully visible. It is a... <laughs> apologise for the crunching. I guess... Excuse me one moment. Let's see if that works. I've taken the simple task of covering her paws with her bedding. So, medium and to refill. At school it was a very simple process. You'd take off the cap, shove a new Parker cartridge in, and then you were away. Now, the trouble is, I only rediscovered this pen recently, and I don't have any refills for it. And I don't have, I'm not sure I ever did have a cartridge converter for it. So all I can do to demonstrate this ink is to dip it in an ink bottle. Let's fetch an ink bottle and a bit of paper. One piece of paper and some Ackermann Delftsblau. Now, I'm not going to run the risk of tipping ink everywhere, so I've got to do this exceptionally carefully. I'm going to have to check to find out what the model actually is. And I'll put that in here when I edit. Now, that writing is not my best. It's writing in a bit of a hurry, one hand only, and it's not too bad. It doesn't look as bad as some writing. But look at this. Now, this biro hasn't been used for a very long time, so it is a bit bad. In fact, it's so bad, I'm going to put that away and get a different one, because that's just useless. Let's try this. See, this is the trouble about being someone who really likes his fountain pens and doesn't like biros. So that when you pick up a biro, <laughs> it doesn't work. Let's try this one. This, this looks hopeful. A nice Subaru, or Subaru. Now, you see, this is why I like fountain pens. I can write... I can write perfectly well, but to my eye, it doesn't look right, and it feels horrible. The reason why it feels horrible is that I feel I've got to press quite hard with the ball point to be able to get the ball to work. It comes out in this horrible sort of spidery scrawl that... just 
It doesn't matter how big I write. It always looks horrible. Whereas when I use a fountain pen, it's smoother, it's easier, you don't have to press so hard. And although I might still have horrible small spidery writing, it somehow looks a lot better. Maybe it's partly the colour of the ink. I mean, this Delft Blau I think is just gorgeous, I really do. This is pretty similar to Delft Blau, a little bit darker, but still to my eye, fountain pen writing looks just so much nicer. And that's why I got hooked on fountain pens, because they are that bit better. Should also say though, in summary, that the pencils still work for me very nicely as well. So sadly, this ballpoint will not get used again. I very much doubt, because it's just horrible. This will quite regularly, when I just want something different to write with. I like that little pencil. This, I am very tempted to go and get some cartridges for it now because it is still a very pleasant writing experience. And having said all that, I need to thank some nice writing people who suggested to me that Diamine have brought out a new ink that I might like to look at. And I said, I've got over a hundred Diamine inks and other inks, and I don't need any more ink. And then I had a look at the website and saw that they've brought out a new ink called Writer's Blood, which is a very nice sort of palish ox blood, I think. And so I'm looking forward to trying that out. Yes, I've put in a flaming order for it. Hey ho, you lot cost me a lot of money. There you go. One trio of writing implements of various types, and they're still really rather nice. I'm quite happy with them. All I've got to do is find a cartridge converter for the fountain pen, and I'm away, really. Hope that was interesting. Thanks a lot for watching. If you want to support the channel, you can go to the bottom. There's things where you can connect with Patreon and PayPal and whatever else you want to do. Plus you can subscribe and hit the bell button and like it and share it and tell your friends and then lots of other people will watch it as well because there's strange people in the world and they tend to quite like some of them fountain pens. Apologies for any slight wobbles and oddnesses going on. That's because the dog just kicked the tripod. She's now down here trying to get my attention because apparently it's time for a walk. Never mind. Thanks all for watching. Speak to you soon.